Hey folks, Internet Dude here. Hey, I've got the uh, Fox Mustang in the shop today, the 1993 Mustang. And in a previous video uh, regarding the heater core, I showed you uh, the heater core and the radiator. And in this case, um, I wasn't able to repair the radiator uh, because it was going to cost around $600. Uh, I was able to get a replacement full aluminum radiator for a little over 200 bucks, so I went that route. So next step here is to uh, refill the cooling system. And I want to show you a really cool tool that uh, lets you refill the cooling system without having to worry about burping out air or getting air pockets inside. So what this is, it's called an airlift um, 550000 tool. And what it does, I'll just show you here, it comes with a few different pieces. The main thing here is this uh, adapter that connects up to your uh, overflow tank or the radiator and it has different rubber adapters you can put on there to make it fit. Then it has a gauge which shows you a uh, vacuum and a uh, valve that hooks up to a quick connect. And it's very simple, you just hook up this end in here. Okay. You put an airline onto there, and when you open this vat, you hook it up. I'll just show you. But basically, what this tool lets you do is very easily pull a vacuum on the entire cooling system and then easily refill the cooling system. And so you don't have to worry about air pockets, which can lead to overheating and things like that. So I'll take it over to the car and just show you there. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is connect this to your overflow or your actual radiator cap. Now in this case, I'm just gonna push it in here because I already tried a different adapter and that didn't work. So we're just using the cone. Then we hook this up to here. And you can just route the other end of that wherever you want. I'll just throw it into the overflow because it doesn't matter for now. Then we hook up the air supply and we um, leave this valve open until this gauge goes up. So I'll bring you over and show you that next. Okay, I have a fairly good sized air compressor, so I know I don't have to worry about this, but if you have a really small air compressor, you may need to run this a couple times to get enough air flowing through. But basically when I hook the air line up, it's gonna be a bit noisy. It's gonna draw air through, pull a vacuum on this system. So you run it uh, until this needle gets down just below 25, like 26-ish ideally, then you close the valve and you remove the air line. So I will do that now. It shouldn't take very long. Okay, so as you can probably see there, it's at around 26 or so. Uh, we're just going to let that sit. Uh, let's see if you can see that. Just tilt you up a bit. Can you see the radiator hose has collapsed? And that's normal. That's fine. So we'll let this sit for just a couple minutes and we'll make sure that this needle doesn't go down. If it does, it indicates there's a leak somewhere in the system. Um, I put this on the other day and there were no leaks, so I'll wait anyway, but we'll come back and I'll show you how to refill. Just while we're waiting that for that to uh, do its thing, I'll show you the other hose. So this is just a quick connect. So we're done with that one. And the other hose connects up the same way, but it has another valve so you can open and close the uh, 
the uh, action of, of the coolant being sucked. And then there's a little screen and you just put this end into the jug and this end over to here. And I accidentally bumped that valve, but uh, we're still sitting just below minus 20, uh, 25, so that's okay for right now. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. We haven't lost any um, vacuum. So what I did is I just put this into my jug of coolant that I mixed up. I just put it in here because I filled it to two and a half liters of regular coolant and topped up to four liters for with distilled water to get the good 60-40 ratio. So then you just uh, open both of these valves. Open this one first and you'll see the uh, you'll see this just get sucked right in. Don't let the thing run dry. And you can see how fast that's going. It's really, really effective. Okay, and I don't want to get air in the system, so I'm, I'm going to stop there and I'm going to fill this back up. I'll probably just do this again off, off footage here and, and uh, we'll just come back. So it uh, filled up completely. You can see it to the top of the radiator there. Uh, I just need to put the rad cap on and top up the overflow tank. So there's the airlift coolant refill tool. Um, I took a look back and I purchased it in 2012 and I've probably used it a half dozen times or so. And in my opinion, if you're, you know, kind of a DIYer type person, and you think you'll need this tool at least twice, it's probably worth buying. If you're just going to do it once and you don't think you'll ever do this again, it may not be worth it for you. But even at the, the going rate on this tool, um, it's probably comparable or cheaper than actually taking your car to a shop and paying for a coolant flush. So uh, I hope you like this video. I hope you found the tool um, useful and uh, I will leave a a link in the description so you can check out this product but uh, yeah there you go I hope you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe and thanks for watching